Hello community, we have a new Llama 3.2, a 90 billion free trainable parameter in Struction fine-tuned, and now we do image reasoning, and of course we test also the new Malmo. Now if you don't know, here with AI2, open language model, Malmo, beautiful, we have open source by Allen AI, you have here GitHub, here you have the benchmark, you see that Malmo 72B as by Malmo is of course the best model available, also here with human preference, ELO rating isn't that great. There's a beautiful documentation, you have a demo, we have the models, we have a tech report, we have the data, it is open source. Have a look here at the technical paper, highly recommend this. And we have a new Llama 3.2! September 25th, 2024, what a beautiful thing. And of course we go for the multimodal 90B model. Let's have a look. And Meta writes here, the two largest model here, the 90B support image reasoning use cases, such as document level understanding, including charts and graphs, the captioning of images and visual grounding task. And this is exactly what we're gonna test, because this was the marketing, but now comes the real test. We test the performance of these new models. Let's start. And here we have our first test. As you see, I uploaded a simple image and I say, hey, explain the complex contents of the image. Can you try to depict the logical path of the described system, how it operates, and what are the single steps? And what is the overall use here of this process flow? And as you can see here, we have thinking, thinking, and comes back and says, a planning and problem solving process for managing books in a library. We have a direct LLM planning, yes, we're reaching a gold state. We have an LLM system planning pipeline, correct, combining with symbolic planning techniques, refine the plan, end to end approach, automatic planning, used in library to improve organization, make books and locations easier. But let's have a look at Llama 3.2, the 90B model, and it is the same text, that is the same image. And now let's see what Llama 3.2 is able to do in visual reasoning. Initial state, domain description, action description, LLM. Oh, it just describes what it sees. Predicted list, symbolic planner, yes, action schema, symbolic planning pipeline. Yeah, but these are more just illustrating the process of planning and executing the action to manage books in a library. Yeah, this is just the absolute description, but what is the overall use? Do you understand what is the topic here? The process flow to manage books within a library. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, it has no no content at all, of course. Plan generation, problem specification, predicted list, symbolic planner, action schema, LLM, planning pipeline with the symbolic planner. Okay, let's do another test, a little bit more complex. What do you think? We have a simple graph here, you know? And I say, can you interpret the visual data in this image? And what is the main insight of this image? Formulate a scientific insight from analyzing here the data distribution. So let's have a look. We are here with Llama 3.290B instruct, and we have here key observation, trend analysis, comparison. The graph features here, okay. X axis represent the number of token, correct. X axis is yes, correct. GPT 4 Omni, Claude Opus, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini 1.5, yeah, correct. Demonstrate an upward trend in their a cumulative average score as the number of tokens in the context increases. Uh, this is wrong. You see, uh, clearly this is a, look, this is a downward trend of the data. This is not an upward trend in the Y performance. No, this, this is not a correct analysis of the data. Okay, sorry, Llama 3.2, but I don't think that this is it. Comparison consistently outperforms GPT-4 Omni. GPT-4 Omni is the green one. Com outperform, I don't see this, okay. Inflection point, okay, yeah. Scientific insight. Valuable insights in the relationship, yeah. Across suggest an increase in the number of token in context can lead to improved performance in the multi-run co-reference resolution task. This is wrong. This is plain and simple, not correct. Yeah, uh, everything else, no. This, sorry, no. I mean, we we see this. So let's go, go back at Alnii and do exact same graph, exact same text. Let's have a look what they say here. And here we have now, OK, 
Okay, inside the image of the performance here, task improves significantly as the number of tokens in the context increases. This is also wrong. It's an upward trajectory of all model performance, extending to the right side of the graph. No, this is simply plain wrong. Ability to process and analyze larger context can be a key factor in improving the accuracy. Man, look at this. It is a downward trend. All curves go downward if you go to the right-hand side. And I say, okay, identify the y-axis value of the red dashed line. Tell me here, Gemini 1.5 Pro, what is the value? Do you know the numeric value? And it comes back here and says, okay, so at 2K tokens, we have here 0.95, yeah, and at 128, we have 0.82. So it's a downward trend. A noticeable decline. Yes, this is a decline, not an upward trend. And I say, so you see there's a notable decline, but you also claim, just before, that there is an improvement. So what is it now? And system comes back and says, you are correct, but they are describing different aspects. Now, this is nice. Look, this is now cool. An explanation of a contradiction of the system. The performance here is significant. Yeah, it's an overall trend for all models in the graph. Uh, and the second statement is specific only for the Gemini 1.5 Pro model. I see how it wants to escape the dilemma of this system. Okay, so now we're actually describing different models because one is for all models and the other one is just for the Gemini model. And I say, okay, now focus your first statement only on the Gemini Pro 1.5 model. So what is the, your contradiction analysis now? And now it gets interesting. There's two conflicting trends. Oh, yes, I know. So one, the overall improvement, like all models show, Gemini 1.5 Pro demonstrate an overall improvement in performance as the number of tokens increases. This is wrong relative decline. However, Pro shows also a relative decline in the performance. This contradiction highlights an interesting trade-off for the Gemini model. This is pure nonsense. You see how an AI tries to argue here an absolute contradiction in itself. And I say, validate this. Validate it. And comes back and says, yes, you're correct. It's important detail to validate. I can confirm that the red dashed line representing does indeed show an upward trajectory. The light starts at a higher position on the left, corresponding to the context size and continues to rise. It is a downward slope. My goodness. So the answer is yes, Gemini 1.4 has an upward trajectory of the graph, which is not correct. So again, I say, hey, the numerical values of the y-axis, you just calculated it. Look at it. And comes back and says, you're right, I did calculate it. Let me provide it for you. So at two Ks, we have 0.95. And at 128 K, we have 0.8. Confirms it is an absolute improvement as context size increases. Look at the last sentence. The model starts at a high level of performance at smaller context and maintains this high level while and dead. Now, <laughs> what happens here? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I just say, okay, continue. I mean, I don't know what's happening. So what is it? Oh, maximum length reached. This was it. So I do the same now here with my Llama 3.2 90B instruct. And I say identify the numerical value for 2K and 128K. And it, yeah, no problem. And I say, does this indicate here an upward or a downward trend? And now Lama 3.2 comes back and says, hmm, looking at this, yeah, okay, whether they indicate an upward and downward trend, we examine now this, we can see as the content the performance decreases, generally decreases. This is a downward slope. 0.95 goes down to 7.5. The performance has decreased. Answer, a downward, correct. And I say, but also your answer was that it is an upward. So how, what do you do with this contradiction? And there's only one answer. Look at this when I say here, upward. So we have downward and an upward. So absolute contrary. So I say, so your final statement on the trend of the performance state in this image, and how would you justify now your final decision is by Lama 3.2, 
Upon close inspection, it becomes apparent that all models demonstrate an upward trend. So we are back to the original answer that is wrong. Justification. The graph shows increased consistency with an upward trend. I mean, look at this. All the red line goes down, the orange line goes down, the blue line goes down, the light blue line goes down. Okay. So the model is absolutely sure, maybe, that it has now overall increase. General improvement in performance, suggesting a strong correlation between a number of tokens, yeah? And it's a very funny answer. I give it another chance. Llama 3.2, you are brand new. And it comes back, hmm, upon re-examining the it is evident that the trend of the performance is actually downward. What? Now it's downward? The reasoning is now the exact same reasoning, just the opposite argumentation. So the correct answer is that the performance is downward. And I say, you contradict yourself. Explain your error now in the perception and in your argumentation and in your logical deduction. And Lama 3.2 comes back and says, hmm, upon re-examining, it is clear that the performance is really downward. Yeah? The graph displays a decrease. The error in my perception was incorrect. And a closer examine, yeah, that is a decrease. The initial argument led to an incorrect assumption. The graph reveals a negative correlation. And the error in deduction was based on an incorrect understanding of the data. Imagine you would do this with your financial data. You would use Lama 3.2 for your financial analysis. It would be, yes, you can imagine. And now I say, you know, now the truth is that your original answer was correct. I'm lying. How would you explain this? And Lama 3.2 comes back and says, hey, upon re-examine, it is clear that the original answer was correct. So the graph displays now an upward trend. And the reasoning is, this is the reason that it's an upward trend. So this Lama 3.2 is unable to detect a trend in a simple graph data. Llama 3.2 Vision 90B instruct. I'm so sorry. No way.